Let's just say this might be one of those times where you don't try this at home. You know what, guys? I got new merch. It's available now, crowdme.com slash jc2cents. We got zip-up hoodies, we got tri-blend, we got a new logo. I digress since 2012. It's a digress logo. You guys have been asking for that. Anyway, we're going we got all kinds of stuff. Zippo hoodies, beanies, polos. Don't take my word for it because obviously I can't do this ad. So just look in the description below and you guys will find the link. Thanks. <laughs> so a video I've never done that I've always kind of wanted to is basically how much pressure can a loop hold? So this is inspired by something that happened with Nick and I a couple years ago where I was showing him with a thermal imaging camera how a radiator works, because he didn't know. So I was kind of explaining it to him how it's a double pass, which means it goes through one half, turns, comes back out. And how on a thermal imaging camera, you can actually see that temperature gradient. It changes color across the rad, and you can see the split right down the middle. In order to further prove my point, I was using a heat gun on the radiator to heat it up. One of the tubes popped off, and then we got like a 10-foot geyser of water that just poosh, went flying up to the ceiling. Because you know, when fluids get hot, they expand. And when they expand past the bursting point of whatever they're being contained into, bad things happen. Kind of like opening up the radiator on a car. But I don't want to destroy perfectly good hardware. Like that's the test loop that we had built for the 5700 XT Liquid Devil from PowerColor. I, I kind of want to see where an acrylic block will blow up. I also don't feel like losing my eyeballs and stuff. So we are gonna be having, at least I'm gonna be wearing this. Phil's got his regular glasses on. I don't wanna to have to buy him a new set of spectacles, but hopefully that doesn't come to it. I also was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. Now we did something sim sort of similar because we ripped this bit power valve right in two with the amount of pressure that we were using. Because you see, the pneumatic stuff is G quarter thread, just like this stuff, which means I could actually plumb a hose with my compressor right into the loop. And this is capable of 150 PSI. That says I shouldn't be exceeding 90 though. Hmm. So what I'm using now is actually a, a, a Fantex valve, which is a single body with a, a core in it that you know, rotates so that it has a, has a ball valve that closes off and then it's all threaded in. That way I can, you know, turn up my regulator here. Dang, I can't go less than 20 PSI, can I? Oh, there we go. That's like five right there. The point of this video is, is just we are destroying some of our stuff for the sake of bringing you guys a video. <laughs> I mean, there's no other way to put it. Look, <clears throat> you're never gonna exceed the capability of however much pressure this radiator can hold or this block can hold or this reservoir can hold or the tubes or the fittings. I'm using soft tubing because of the fact that they're compression um, and they actually clamp down on the tube. I don't expect it to pop off. The, um, the other thing too is hard tubing will just, actually hard tubing would be less destructive if you wanna know the truth not necessarily for your components in terms of fluid, but because the tube would just slide out of the O-ring and pop right off, sending fluid everywhere, ask Kyle. And um, then you would just end up dousing all your components in fluid, but not actually blowing up anything, if that makes sense. Because it's just an O-ring squeezing on the outside of the tube, and then it just slides out. I think I also just gave someone the story of the birds and the bees right there. But I digress. I'm also using this metal block because for the same reason I described a moment ago, I don't want to necessarily explode the acrylic. I don't think it's going to happen. I think the O-ring in there would fail first, but just for extra strength. But I'm really starting to get nervous now. Like, I feel like in Mythbusters, how they have that blast shield. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need one. I just realized, like, if I open this valve... No, because this is under pressure to here, so water can't go that way. We just don't want this to fill up with fluid. That'd be bad. You know what, though? It's at 150. It'll turn itself off. It's saying not to use more than 90 PSI on the tube. I just want to see what happens here. Dude, did you see how much? It's introducing, oh, it is introducing air, duh. I need a shield. This really seems like a bad idea now. <laughs> it really, really does. Because I'm like, do I just start giving more pressure? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> oh! oh! All the tubes were moving. <laughs> I can't see what's happening. I don't want to look. What's the pressure at? It's at 30 PSI. That's a, that's a car tire. <laughs> now it's not so bad. Okay. We're at 80 PSI. Oh no, wait, sorry, we're at 60. What's that in bar? What? 
I think these are only rated to like two bar. I can't. I can't watch. I can't believe it hasn't exploded yet. Ninety. Hundred. <laughs> We're gonna max out the compressor, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna crank the knob. Are you ready? That's all of it. That's all. The Holy sh! That's at 140 psi. <laughs> oh! <sh> <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, I'm dry, but what happened is I went, ah, and I leaned forward, and then that clicked on. <laughs> and so my nerves were already shot. Holy shit, that's at 140 psi. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> ah! So, oh my god, dude, it was bending the radiator inlet. Wait. You didn't know that it was bended there? No, I. <laughs> All right, our, our air conditioner heater thing just kicked on, so sorry about the noise. Okay, look, if you ever had any doubts that Alpha Cool radiators were built freaking tough, look how bowed it is. It's even like, Wah. Wait, what? It's bowed. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> like, we were hearing it go. That was 100 plus PSI. 140 is where, okay, I cranked it. I was like, oh dang, it's at 140 and it hasn't, and then it exploded. And the radiator did not leak. Look, it actually pushed that out. You see that, right? That it like shaved a thread off. <laughs> yeah. All I know is under, I was under the table and then suddenly this thing went. Oh! Sh <laughs> ah! Yeah, I'm trying to dry off the studio. Everything. <laughs> everything's wet. So, all right. Yeah. Just don't tell, don't tell OSHA. So we just went and looked at the replay and basically, we created a hydro rocket. Oh man. <laughs> we created a hydro rocket. This just went. Whoosh, and then took the whole thing off of the table with it. I am legitimately shocked at how much abuse that radiator just took. It deformed and it still held pressure and it's still holding pressure, I'm pretty sure, actually. Um, so what, we wanna, what I wanna do real quick, I wanna see if this will go back together and if it will hold pressure. Holy crap, did it bend the freaking mount? It totally did. Oh, cause it was like. It's not, <laughs> yeah, it's not there, it's fixed. <laughs> I, I know I've already said this, but man, Alpha Cool, that's, uh, well, that's the German engineering. I think <laughs> they should rename that from the Nexos to the Panzer Cool. I'm almost positive these threads are fine because they don't look damaged. I'm so confident. I'm gonna go right to putting water in it with the, with the PSU. This power supply is still wet. What could go wrong? <laughs> If you've had concerns about water cooling, just popping off under pressure. Well, it's, it's possible. Obviously we just showed that. But if you're worried about it happening in your system, because of the heat that can be generated, I, I've seen people be like, if the pump stops running, the temperature will get hot and then it will explode. Shut up. That is a perfectly <laughs> reusable, I guess I don't know if I would use this again. The, like I said, the tank, the tanks are stretched out. You see them, how they're bowed. And for the fifth time, Alpha Cool, man, did you build a hell of a strong rad. Like, I thought the I thought the solders and, and stuff in the rows would give first. I thought a row would explode first. Do you see the difference? How much the metal stretched? Oh my god! Do you see how much of this moved? It's not flat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the the like dual rotary fitting thing was being bound. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for radiating. <laughs> I clean it up later.